economy rate very good. A little bit of doubt about the condition of Daniel Vittori's back going into this match. And I'm sure New Zealand supporters would hope that that will be corrected and uh, he'll be able to take his place in the test matches. Anyway, here we go, Daniel Vittori. Don't expect too much turn. Fine batting surface. Life will be difficult for them today. Yes, nice, Daniel. Yes, it'll be demanding, and that's the way, of course, I think uh, most people like to see a one-day surface. I think we've moved away from pitches that have looked a bit spent and tired. We used to regard that as, the, uh, as a better one-day pitch where you could, had to hit the ball over the top. No, that's not the case nowadays. Much more grass, as you can see, more bounce and more carry. Seems to be the fashion. Yeah, nice, Dan. And that one that I agree with, certainly. I think that it affords the bowlers a chance if they get it right. And also the batsmen can play right around the ground. So you can see there, 93 for two. Last five overs, just a shade over five runs per over. Yeah, good call. Razak. We've seen... Uh, have some longish innings really in terms of a one-day context he doesn't seem to get singles and there's a good length from Vittori's to Pakistan Daniel Vittori nice. and Razak just looking to push the ball into the offside to try and rotate the strike he took off for a single Johanna not interested This is where the class of Daniel Vittori comes in. Good batting conditions, not a lot of turn. And so his weapons are his change of pace, his change of line, subtle changes, use of the crease. Nice, oh yes, almost a suggestion there. Once again, deception in the air, which is, of course, the great skill of a left arm finger spinner. You see here Razak looking to attack it and really wasn't there. It was in the air for some time. Well bowled Daniel Vittori. Razak really wanted it. And that's when he was batting down the order. And uh, 31 from 54. So a strike rate of 42 over this series for uh, Razak. It's been uh, wided by Steve Dunn. Just sliding down the leg side. Good take by Adam Perori. 